everywhere we go in the world, we, we often meet with the, usually the president of the conference Catholic mm-hmm. bishops, whether it's Philippines or whether it's South America sure. or Australia. And it's interesting when they know, when I tell them that you're a dear friend, I find that everybody has just the highest respect for well, you. Thank in, you in the whole Catholic world. And they treat us wonderful. Uh, this, this is this, going well. This, this is uh, <laughs> they treat us wonderful. If if we're a friend of yours, we may well, be o- you. we may be okay. And thank so you. I just want you to know that that's uh, that's something that we experience. Well, I hear that. you saying you're proud of the friendship and you cherish it. And uh, altrettanto, as the Italians would say, the same goes for oh, me. We're both into the uh, Rolodex theory. So if you, you the more names you yeah. got with yeah. whom you feel comfortable, whom you trust. Right. about whom you would not be afraid to pick up the phone and say, can I talk to you about right. something? The more you got that, the better off we are, right? That's right. So that's, that's my affection and appreciation for you all. But when you talk about the essential, essential beliefs, you're talking about we're children of the one true God who has made us in his image and likeness, who loves us passionately, who wants us to love him back and to love one another as brothers and sisters. That's doctrine. That's God's That's revelation. That's and if we can't get along, it's downright sinful and scandalous, right? So, don't you think? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. You said it perfectly. Yeah. And I, that applies to everybody, except Red Sox fans. I will not. <laughs> That's You have to have some boundaries. Faith has been fundamental to the black community since before the end of slavery, when the black church was a hidden institution and slaves found the strength to endure in part because of their faith. Since, with, the, with emancipation, the black church has continued to play a really important role in education. Uh, black churches were among uh, the most important institutions in founding uh, colleges and universities and in providing education for people who were illiterate because it was illegal for slaves to learn to read and write. So the church has really been at the center. It's essential because at the base of human existence, for it to have meaning, we have to have the freedom to follow our conscience. And those of us who are people of faith believe that that is really grounded in a gift from God, which precedes any uh, rights, Uh, allotted by government, precedes any demands or requirements of government, that fundamental relationship with God. But even for those who have no faith, because it's really important for us to bear in mind the religious freedom is not just for people of faith, it's even for those who have no faith. It's defending their right not to adopt any faith of any particular hue. And, but that freedom of conscience, that responding to that inward call is simply essential for human life. To get the black church involved in standing up for religious freedom. We have got to build long-term relationships which speak to the needs of African Americans. Just as the church has done in awarding these scholarships uh, to the National uh, Negro College Fund, so the United Negro College Fund, in the same way, we've got to build those long-term relationships uh, across denominations that speak to the needs of poverty, of violence, of education, the needs in the black community, and then we can begin to see the black church really step up and participate in the struggle to maintain religious freedom. I believe that um, religious liberty is the most fundamental right that um, we have as humans, not just as Americans, but as humans, and um, that the rights of freedom of speech and uh, assembly and press None of those things matter. If you don't have a conscience that tells you what to say, then it doesn't matter that you have a right to speak. Freedom of religion is so fundamental that um, autocrats all around the world and throughout history have recognized that uh, before you can oppress or dominate people, you need to take away their freedom of religion. Because once you allow them freedom of faith, you allow them to develop a conscience, and that conscience will allow them to identify when you are committing injustices. And so any, any dictator or tyrant who wants to dominate or oppress a people 
will first go for um, their freedom of religion. Part of the reason why religious liberty is so critical in our society is that um, religion and faith help to develop and cultivate public virtue. It allows us to be our best as uh, citizens of a, of a community and uh, as a society. Uh, we can't depend on uh, um, laws to, to order our behavior. We actually have to have virtuous people. And faith does that. Faith allows us to direct and order our lives in a way that is beneficial not just ourselves but to those around us. And to build a strong society full of public virtue, we need to have uh, a society that is built upon faith. Core to our Notre Dame Law School Religious Liberty Initiative is the idea that religious liberty is foundational for human flourishing and for all other types of rights. And so our initiative is focused on both developing and promoting scholarship that is advancing these sorts of ideals in the academy and also leveraging those ideas through clinical work in the real world to advocate for those whose rights are being threatened. Religious liberty is important for so many reasons. It's central to the dignity of the human person and their ability to pursue what is most important to them in life. It's important to our Latter-day Saint theology, our 11th article of faith. And it's also important, I think, as a check just on government overreach generally. When religious liberty is being infringed on, government is taking away too many freedoms across the board. And we see that when countries protect religious liberty, there is more peace and national security and prosperity amongst their people. So it's really a foundational protection that leads to so many other benefits for society.